Hi viewers, welcome to my channel, I brought you an amazing offer on Amazon, this offer for instant pot duo crisp with air fryer, get 33% off by link in the description. And this review by Bethany from her Many Faces YouTube channel. Welcome to Her Many Faces, I'm Bethany. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share, comment, you name it. If you like what I'm making and want me to continue making stuff, I need your help. Now that that's over with, let's get on to the video. I've got something big for you guys. Something really big. Give me a second. Go. Do you see that? This is an Instapot. Oh, that was a French size. Give me a second, let me retake that. Da -da 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 -da. Do you see that? This box is huge. All right, let me widen the shot. Okay, now my frame is much wider. We can actually do an unboxing that is worthy of the bigness that is this Instapot. So let's get started. I've got some handy dandy scissors. You may be asking yourself, Bethany, why are you opening a box for an Instapot? Well, the truth is, I love food, I love technology, and an Instapot is like both of those things. So, of course, I'm going to show you something that is important to me. Oh my goodness. So, what we have here first is the directions, very important. I don't know which one to take out first. This looks like the air frying mechanism. So I assume that uh, once you put it in air fryer mode, this is what would go on top of your Instapot. And then this is just the Instapot and what an Instapot typically looks like. So we already have an Instapot. We use our Instapot for cooking various things like rice actually. I think we cook rice almost two to three times a week. So our main usage is rice, but we've definitely cooked a roast in it. Vegetables, spaghetti squash, quinoa. I think we've even done Brussels sprouts in here. So it does look like it has some extra doodads. As our last one really only had this and a basket. And that is a good way to steam your food. This is a new one. The heck is this? Kind of looks like a cake pan with like a strainer on the bottom. And then it also has this raised compartment. I guess maybe is this the air frying apparatus? So now we will have two different lids. Like I said before, this one is the regular Instapot lid and this one looks like the air frying lid. And we have two compartments. This is what you typically have with your Instapot and this I'm assuming is the air frying apparatus. This came with our old one as well. We used it for steaming and whatever the heck this is. Great, now that we've opened up the box, let's talk about some of its functions. The Instant Pot Dual Crisp Air Fryer is a six quart, 11 in one, touch multi-use programmable pressure cooker with an air fryer lid. So essentially that means you're getting like two items, change the lid, and then it will have a whole bunch of other programmable features with it. Now the 11 things that they're talking about, pressure cooking, saute, steam, slow cooks, sous vide, warms, air fries, roasts, bakes, broils, and last but not least, dehydrates. Now the three things that I was interested in, we already have an Instapot, as I stated, so I know the value of using it. It cooks food faster, it's juicier, we cooked a roast in it before and that was spectacular. Vegetables, soup, you name it, it really does a good job. The three things I was interested in that this one does that ours doesn't and why we upgraded, it's because this one is labeled as an air fryer. I have been interested in trying an air fryer. It's the latest rage in cooking, so I really wanted to try it. It also does sous vide. That's another cooking thing that everyone is going, oh my goodness, it's so amazing, so I have to try it. And then dehydrates. <sighs> That's so cool. I'd love to dehydrate my own vegetables or dehydrate my own, I don't know, fruit? There's so many things. With all of these options in this one machine, although it, I will say there are a lot of parts here and the idea of a pressurized thing in my home does freak me out sometimes. I think that it's worth the money. At $129 from Walmart, it seems relatively worth it to add this to all of the kitchen things that we use. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually cook for you guys. I'm gonna try to cook frozen chicken 
went from frozen to crispy in the air fryer. And if this little Instapot could just do our taxes too, then you know what? I bet everyone will put one in their household. So give me some time, I'll get it put together, and then we'll give it a try. So we started with the Instapot mode because that's what we know and you do what you know and that's just how we do and how we do is rice. So we want to start with two cups of rice, you just throw it in there, all willy-nilly, not really caring. And then I also think if your butter doesn't look like this, don't even talk to me. You have to have butter. You want to be a cool kid, don't you? Salt is also a must, like what are you doing to your food if you're not putting salt in it? Then you mix it together, you put on the settings, I think you do like five minutes or something like that. And once that's done, voila, you get like the perfectly cooked rice, like restaurant quality. It's so good. Next we cook tofu in an air fryer because I want a tofu. And I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's so good. I'm glad we started with that because tofu seemed like less scary than chicken. For the chicken, I sprayed it down with some canola oil, threw in the frozen chicken pieces. There's about four there. They're pretty thin. Then sprayed them down with canola oil. Then we added seasoning, you know, to taste because, you know, salt and pepper, that's really all you need if you're just trying something out. So we put on the lid and we did our best guess of what you're supposed to do with, with this. And honestly, it wasn't the best first batch, but we gave it a try. And once it set off, we're like, ooh, is that done? And then we flipped it over and we're like, I mean, it looks done. So then we took it out of the pot and we're like, let's just see if it's done. And it was. So yes, the recipe will take some work, but really it cooked in like 12 minutes, which is great. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate all the views. You guys are so wonderful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And you know what I say all the time, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Okay. That's something.